All right, guys, Chef Craig here again in the Hold a Cook Liquor Beijing Kitchen, ready to bring another dish to you. All right, so today a little bit of a little rum. Purity, raisin bran, bread. Country Kitchen Vanilla Essence. Anchor, heavy cream. Mindful Market Spices. We can make something real nice, all right? Chef Craig, rum, caramel, bread pudding, a bay leaf, brown sugar, cream sauce. Let me get started. All right, so it is bread pudding making time. We're gonna start with our eggs. Three eggs for this recipe. I don't want to sound too technical, so I'm just going to call what the ingredient is and we're going to move through. You all know the recipes are coming. All right, we're going to add some brown sugar. You know, we got the best sugar in the world, right? Because <laughs> we need some for the top and we need some for the rum sauce. While I'm mixing here, we've got the frying pan hot. We're going to melt our butter. Then we're going to add Country Kitchen Vanilla Essence. Nice aroma. And when it's baking, you're going to smell that right through the house. Cinnamon. Fair amount of cinnamon. A little bit of nutmeg. A little bit of ginger. All right. A little bit of salt. Correct. That is melted enough. Let that sit for a minute. You can also get this frying pan hot to start our sauce. So we've got a little bit of everything going on. So here now, we're going to whisk this together. So that cinnamon blow by. Then, we're going to add heavy cream. Now, we're going to use too much because we want to fold the bread in. We already got a lot of liquid, and then we still want to add our butter. That's enough. Using one of these anchor heavy creams into our bread pudding. Let's get it all together. Into rum. You see what kind we got though? Mount Gear Extra Oil Triple Cast Blend. It's the good stuff. We can use it twice. Some in there, get the flavor going. And then into the pan, but we're gonna take it away from the heat, add our rum. We want good set, because we're gonna allow it to reduce. Get a lot of flavor. Goes back, light it, or allow it to ignite, and that's also going to intensify, reduce the alcohol. So we're going to get the sweetness, the oakiness from the rum. All right, all together. Right now, the, the, the rum on fire, the flaming, and I in the sauna, getting all kind of heat going on. Bread, as I mentioned, purity, raisin bran. Bread. I like this one, I like the choice bread, even the machine loaf, because they can also add the raisin dough, play for pro the flavor profile of those, they work very well. It's similar. And for me, you know I love to do these things by hand. I can get the texture, I can get that feel going on. Grab the butter. Get it in. Oh yeah. Looking good. Looking good. You see? Bring it all together. Allow that to get all softer, taking all the flavors and everything. 
You can see the spice, you can see the brown sugar, you can see the darkness of the rum. Now we're gonna add just a little bit more cream. Mmm, that is looking wonderful. Good. Out the rum, brown sugar. That's what we're talking about. Be a leaf. Mm hmm. Blow that with the juice. Shake it up. Again, another flame again, huh? You're feeling happy today. So, I'm going to find something to put this in to bake off. I'm going to set it in, get it into the oven. our bowl or dish whatever you want to call it and we're just going to add some sugar to the top of the bread pudding we're going to get it into the oven we're also going to finish up our rum cream bay leaf sauce all right so we're going to add the cream as you can tell our sauce is, is looking kind of syrupy as you can see we don't want it too thick and now we hit it with the cream Turn it up a little. You know what they say, the sweetness is in the sauce. Especially when it's done with Anchor Heavy Cream and Monkey Extra Old Triple Cast Rum. Let's get together. All right, so medium to low. Allow the cream to do its thing. I'm gonna rest this in the oven. And by the time that is finished, and this is big, you can be eating some good rum caramel bread pudding with a good bay leaf rum cream sauce. All right, so rum caramel bread pudding is baking. Rum sauce is finished, we put that over to the side. And it's time to get it in of course. We're doing a nice pan seared, Beijing seasoned turkey breast. And we're going to finish that off with a nice stir fried vegetable rice using a lot of Eve. Eve rice, Eve mixed vegetable, and the Eve black eyed peas. That's what we're gonna work on. So, first thing we're gonna do is get our turkey prepped. So just getting our gloves ready. We got our meat board here. We're gonna do the raw stuff and get it out of here, and then we're gonna go on to the, the rice and everything else. All right, simple process. We're just gonna cut it in half. You would butterfly, but we don't need to. We just wanna have it in half. Nice and flatter, cooking time is shortened. And we can just cook it completely in the saute pan. So we're gonna keep this thin a piece, and we're gonna put this one up. All right, so prepped, clean, time to season, then into the pan. Lime juice. You can either lime or salt your chicken or your turkey before, but I prefer to keep my lime on so it's all washed off and I add my lime juice. We're going to add our Beijing seasoning, our spices. We're going to add a fair amount. More spice, less of regular salt. Black pepper. Salt. A little bit. Pepper sauce. You want it spicy this time. And then we're going to add some soy sauce. And you know me, I like to get a feel for what I'm cooking. Nice toss up, allow everything to come together. Salt your pan is getting hot. And we can just keep flowing. This is nice, quick healthy 
wonderful dish. Because we know in the season you're going to eat a lot of <laughs> a lot of this stuff you don't you're not supposed to eat or you don't usually eat. So you need to have some good healthy dishes in between or as healthy as possible. You see this is looking good. Very good if I do say so. And what I like about turkey and the preparation of turkey, you do a short preparation. Higher heat for a short period of time and it stays a lot moister. A lot of people say, oh I don't like turkey, it's dry. It's only dry when people dry it out. You cook it for a longer time, the liquid comes out, the fat comes out and it's not as fatty as a chicken. So you lose that moisture. Well for me, nice high heat and then quick cooking time, can't go wrong. You're going to get some more Bertoli olive oil, we're using the mild one. The pan is hot, the oil is dancing, and it's a dancing because when, you have, when the pot is hot, it wouldn't sit still. Any heat, any, any liquid that goes into a hot vessel moves around. As you see, you put water in it, moves around, so it's trying to find a cool spot. So the same thing with oil. And there's no cool spot. <laughs> so it moves around until it's ready for you to use, see? That's what we want here. So, we still want to continue. No need to mess around. We're going to get our stir-fried vegetable rice going. And as I mentioned before, we're using Eve rice. Washed, already boiled, fully cooked. We just cooked a little less than if you were doing a steamed rice. That's a little bit less, good to the bite. And hopefully, by the time the rice is finished, the turkey will be finishing, and then we'll be putting this plate together. Nice, sharp, and sweet. And don't forget, after that, you still gotta pull out our bread pudding, hit it with the sauce, and just have a good old, either dinner, lunch, or a line with your friends, whatever you call it. Keep you and your family safe with Saul Gas. Here are some helpful tips to keep you and your family safe when cooking with Saul Gas. Never tamper with the cylinder and only use the Sol approved regulator and a hose designed for use with LPG. Securely connect the regulator to the cylinder valve until it clicks into place and is properly fastened and secured. It is important to check the hose clips and the rubber hose to ensure they are in good working condition and properly secured. It is important to check your hose and regulator and change them as needed. Change your rubber hose every two years. Change your regulator every five years. If there are signs of damage to your regulator, contact an approved Sol gas distributor or a Sol service station for replacement immediately. Safety first with Sol gas. I come in close. I know we got one shot coming in, but I want y'all to see how we looking. Oh dear, see that? That's what we're looking for. So you can pull the old switcheroo in a good way. Okay. Left, as I can it's the left hand here. That's all Beijing dialect and we are cooking like Beijing's. So, some good heat going on. A little bit of the Bertoli, mild olive oil. So, we ain't wasting the time. And we want a lot of vegetables. A lot. More vegetable, less rice. You know what? Nick just look at me and tell me, don't oh, waste the carrot, put it in. Right, Nate? Right, not in the head. Can't see me, not in the head. Fresh ginger. Yes, that's what we are looking for. So we can load this to saute. Come down, get soft as they say. And then, we're gonna add our vegetables and our rice. Let me just say a little touch test to the turkey. See that bounce spot as we're looking for. I know more lately this end is finished. It's up here we're waiting on right now. So we can let that continue. We got our rice going. And we can continue with the rice. We ain't finished yet. And we ain't, we ain't cutting away or anything. The rice is going. Get our butter in. I'm gonna start with two and we're gonna end off with a little bit. But in the pan looking wonderful for anchor. Spices and everything going on with the Bertoli olive oil onto the turkey. My my for market spices, anchor butter. Oh look there, I still here. You're going in with some of them. 
you know what? I, I love peas. We got enough space though. Your rice can fit. Trust me or not. We can keep it clean. Good. That's what we're looking for. Vegetables. Eve meat vegetables. All of them. Alright, let me cut down the heat a little bit before I cook myself. It's how to cook like a beige and not how to cook a beige in. Heat's still good. So I think you gotta challenge yourself. I feel I like can't get rice in here, right? But I wanna lie. That ain't enough rice. No, I'm kidding, man. Got me rice. So, we can hit this with soy sauce now. And then, we're gonna finish up everything. Get the turkey out and begin slice. Ready? Soy sauce going in. That's the majority of our flavor right there. Bit of black pepper. And you can turn off our turkey. I mean, it is looking amazing. The char, everything. No, look at all that. You're gonna get rid of that, but you see that flavor? Right. You want a lot of vegetables. Looking good? Mmm. That's what we're talking about. And then, while we get ready to cut the turkey, the rice can continue to simmer down. And then we can play it up. So let me. That's a proper bird. <laughs> that is a proper bird. Nick! Looking good, Chef? Good. I am not salt there. Nor am I salt. So I ain't doing all that fancy things, nor am I fretting. All right? I just know how to cook good food. The virgin way. Eve products, huh? With anchor products, my for market spices, all these things. That's what I know to do. All right. Everything well rested. All right. So it's not the bias. All right, true. Nice and thin. That's what we want. We don't need any sauce. We don't need anything with this. Don't worry, this piece, I keep in this piece. That's for me and Chef Nick to try. This is for whoever can taste the play. All right, so I can tidy up, come back, play up this beautiful dish. As I said, this is a bait and season, pan seared turkey breast, boneless, skinless. I'll be serving it with a nice stir fry vegetable. Rice. At Mindful Market, we recognize that everyone's health journey is unique and embraces all facets of life food, supplements, beauty, and household. With all this in mind, we carefully curate our products based on ingredient quality, sustainability, and fair trade practices to bring you only the best from international and local sources. Delicious and nutritious, mindful meals are available from our grab-and-go area and from the cafe. Made fresh daily by our kitchen to suit your diet, whether you're vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, keto, or just want some clean, wholesome food. Mindful Market, nourish your body and soul. All right, so we're back. Turkey finish, rice finish. You want the soft for the dessert finish. Should I grab it? Give me a second. Let me get a cloth. Woo! These are looking sweet, boy. Let me rest it there. We like me and pork. We like me and course first. All right. Nice. It's more hot, though. 
can't hardly heat your log up the kitchen. But you can handle it. See that? You try to tell me that the products, the rice, black eyed peas, and the mixed vegetables can look good with a nice little Asian flair. Look and see what going on here. And they make sure you keep it nice and moist right down there. You see? Look, look. I ain't talking no more, man. Well, not too much. I still got to talk. So I can understand what going on. You can hear that. Right on top of the knife. Roll it there. Right on top. Stop it. Good. I understand. I understand what's wrong with you. I understand. I understand wrong with you, see? I see. I understand. Mm -hmm. He don't want me to tell you how he tears. On top now. Good local my greens. Knows you have different ones all the time, right? I like that. And we get finished off now. With dessert. I know where to put it. Where to put it? Where to put it? Here? Here? Right there, right there, right there. Turn off the sauce. I mean, we ain't that fancy enough. We can rust it. Take hold a nice little square. That's what we're looking for. Nice crust, nice moisture on the inside. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. F chef, F chef, Nick then teach chef. Craig, how to cook now? We'll be in trouble. Don't worry. We can teach chef real too. Whenever she come back. Whenever she get back here. See that sauce? Oh dear, look at that. Look at that. We ain't playing with the sauce either. We had to shit sometimes. I'm nervous. That's pretty concentration. I'm gonna hit it with some cinnamon sugar. Mm. Don't forget one more thing. Look, keep looking there. Don't peep at me. Don't peep at me. We got something here just to finish it off. Something nice, fresh, locally grown. I can move that, let me move that right away. But this is what we're looking for right there, look. Good old Virgin Mint. As I told you, let me lean down on top. Stir fried vegetable rice, beef rice, beef mixed vegetables, beef black eyed peas. All right, and then the nice Barbadian seasoned pan seared turkey breast. Boneless and skinless, healthier alternative. And we finish that off with some good mindful market spices and then obviously in the rice a little bit of butter from anchor over here monkey extra old rum triple cast you understand that all right we have some good anchor cream mindful market spices cinnamon nutmeg ginger purity raisin brown bread mention the heavy cream already anchor butter then we finish off the nice powdered sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, and local Barbadian mint. As I said, I am Chef Craig. This is how to cut like a beer gym. And we'll see you on the next show. Later. Good evening everyone, my name is Adrian Bryan and I want to welcome you to the festive, festive season of Cooking Like a Bajan. Today the cocktail I'm going to be making for you is called Sweet Encounter. And for this particular cocktail I will be using the Eclipse Rum. This is Mount Gay's uh, flagship rum, it got its name from the solar eclipse back in 1810. 
Also, I've created a carrot juice for you, homemade. My citrus for this cocktail would be passion fruit juice, because passion fruit has that tart flavor to it. Also, we'll be using some Clayton's Cola Tonic, created from the cola nut out of West Africa. And my special blend of bay leaf syrup. So bay leaf comes from, it is used as a cooling tea, and all the Bajans can relate to this. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get rolling. First, I'm gonna ice my shaker. Then I'll be using one and a half ounce of Eclipse Rum. One and a half ounce of carrot juice. Oh, I'm loving this color. My tart, passion fruit juice. One and a half ounce as well. One ounce of Clayton's Cola Tonic. Full of energy. Bits of citrus in there as well. And then my homemade syrup, the Bailey syrup. Let's put these together. And let's give it a nice shake. Ice our glassware. And I'm going to pour and agitate. And my garnish for this particular cocktail would be ribbons of carrots. So I'm just gonna peel a few of these. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give them the nice twirl. And that goes there. So this drink has a healthy touch to it as well. I guess you guys who are vegan can relate to this. And just one more for good measures. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Sweet Encounter.